Oh, this was too delicious for me not to comment on. I'm James Audrey, and it says Daytime Today in association with J's Dirty Deeds here on JLJ Media. When I saw the new Jagger, or excuse me, John Jagger Cates, uh, and saw the reaction from folks, I had to chuckle. Uh, I'll tell you, and I'll tell you why. Um, so for those who may not know, I haven't seen yet. You'll see the thumbnail of the new the new Jagger. Um, Adam Harrington is playing him. Uh, Jagger is played by Antonio Sabato Jr., who was dark haired. He's Italian American, dark haired, really good looking, of course, guy who was part of a lot of famous uh, storylines in the nineties, uh, from the teen story to the early adult. He was heavily. We just a lot to mention. Played the role off and on. Uh, last time he played it was in 2008 on Night Shift, which was GH's spinoff. Um, and, you know, he's Brother of Stone. He was with Karen. The whole thing. It was all, it was all, it was all, you could, you could look at all that story. That's not even important to this story right now. But I've seen folks just blown their mind because the new actor is blonde hair, blue eyed. Uh, I first, I want to say, I give, I, GH has a rich history of characters in their back pocket um, that they can draw from. Uh, to, to have this happen um, was very surprising. I, I, I'm, I'm not shocked. I'm not that shocked that often anymore. And when he said, "Don't you remember me?" I'm Jack. Wait a minute, like what? I was pleasantly surprised by it. Pleasantly surprised. Okay, they're going back in history um, and pulling some out from the history for as a reoccurring thing. I have no problem with that. I thought, okay, this is. I'm I'm curious to see where this goes. I was shocked by his. I was taken aback by his new look. Um, Antonio Sabato Jr. I'm not surprised he's not back. <clears throat> Maybe that's, no, that's a whole nother story. That's not really important to this either. They cast an actor. I guess they finally thought he was good. They cast him, and now we're going to see what happens. But it's the folks online. I'm reading all the comments, kids. I'm always in the comments. And people are losing their shit. Um, many are saying, well, you know, why couldn't you get another dark-haired actor? Some folks bring up my friend, Jordy Filosuso, and he'd be a good um, Jagger. Uh, and other names being banded around. Um, but um, so I brought the whole this whole Hispanic thing, and um, in this case for me, because we know there have been castings that have been very questionable, um, but that have worked out. I will say the Carlys on General Hospital. No, they don't look related. They all look different, and they all kind of they all worked. Um, most one of the most famous castings, Blair on Wanted to Live. She was Asian kids or admiration, and it became Catch the Pilot. Totally worked out, though. Uh, totally worked out. Um, I sometimes there, sometimes there are you go, okay. Um, you go, it's kind of like, okay, that could work, it does work. I always have brought up because this for me, this brings up when I talk about colorism casting. And soaps, and I'll go back to General Hospital when I was commenting on the different Jordans. How we had a brown skin, super light skin, and now super dark skin Jordans, and how does that affect? Or I see the recast. I think it was like there was a Taggart recast, and they were so totally different. It was like they like they just found. I'm like they just find a black guy off the street and throw him in there, and you know, like there's so you know the difference uh, colorings of of Trina. Um, there's, there's all these, you know, I used to always come up with a, and I would get comments where some would understand what I was saying and others would disagree with me. Well, their skin color was never brought up on the show. You're right. The skin color was not on the show. But I always say all of this, including this blonde hair, blue eyed Jagger, you have to remember you, whoever it was at the time or whoever it was at the time, created this character and said, I'm going to make them a dark-haired Italian guy. Or I'm going to make them a medium brown-skinned uh, black woman with curly hair. They become popular, which no, no one knows when they become popular. 
But the show, you created that. So now the audience agrees with it, buys it, they're, they're, they're into it. So when you change it and the audience says something, you have to take that in consideration. Just go, well, they're going to they're gonna say, you, you know what you're doing. If you do cast it, someone totally different looking than the other one. Now, there's been some recasts, of course, that they're just basically identical from each other, and it still doesn't work. I think of the Mandos on, on Dynasty. Uh, Catherine Oxenberg was so popular. They just found, like, this Karen Cellini chick. I'm sure she's a nice person. Still didn't work. Um, they got, they got uh, somebody, there was another show, the same thing where I know on one of the a couple of Tinas that were, they tried to get them to be kind of like, it didn't work. It just, sometimes, sometimes they don't work. And it gets somebody who looks just like that person to fill in. It doesn't work. Then you get these recasts. I, the, the woman who played um, Jocelyn for my girl, Eden McCoy, was taking her break. She looked great. She was great. She didn't look like Jocelyn's per se, but she was close enough and it worked, you know. But I just find it very interesting um, that people are calling for it. Because I can't remember if Jagger, you guys can correct me, of course, I can't remember if Jagger was ever played Hispanic. Because we do know Italians, Northern Italians come blonde hair, blue eyed. That does happen. Uh, and people also can change hair colors. Sometimes hair can get lighter. You know, things things like that could uh, totally. I, I'm giving leeway. That can that can totally happen, right? That can totally happen. Um, but I can't remember. I can't remember if he was played Hispanic or not. Because Jagger Cates doesn't sound Hispanic at all. Uh, Stone. I mean, I, I mean, I don't. I don't know if he was or not. Because I, you know, on this show. There are some characters who are Hispanic in real life, but. On screen, they don't, really, they don't really play up their Hispanic sides. Um, they, they just don't. So I understand wanting a more Hispanic presence on the show. That I agree. I that I, I wish there was more of that on the show. I totally agree with that. Um, but in this case, Italians come in all shades, too. They literally, they literally do. Um, and it's a little shocking. But I think there's a, there's also... Possibly a thought. I wasn't part of the casting process. I trust my friend Mark Teshner. I, I trust him. There could be possibly a thought of just that we're going to find a good actor. The actor is the the character hasn't been really been on, but this in this case, you know, two thousand eight. That was like a hundred years ago, so to speak. We're going to put someone on and just and just, and just and hopefully the audience will just forget that and buy into the story and have a good actor instead. And sometimes that works. It, sometimes it really does. Sometimes it really does work. Where it does. So I'm looking for so I but I just think that again the comments were interesting, but I think I think the bigger picture is we should be mindful when it comes to casting sometimes, um, of characters. And uh we know that some recasts are harder than others to fill, uh, because due to the actor's popularity, but sometimes having someone a cookie cut I guess the, the I guess the thing is sometimes getting somebody who's cookie cutter doesn't necessarily mean success. But also getting somebody who's completely the opposite doesn't mean success either, but also could be success. So I'll leave you with that thought. I'm sure I get tons of comments. I want to hear what you have to say. I'm really curious about this. Um, I, I do want to hear. So please leave comments where you find this video. I'm James R. Jr. Talk to you next time.